Hey everybody, how's it going? I got the wrong glasses on for this. Let me change my glasses. <sighs> there we go, that way I can read the chat. How's it going, everybody? Oh, hang on, let me get out. Oh, ow, my shoulder, shoot. Hey, 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 how's it going? Hey, Manette, Sherry Leach. I run late all the time, it's, it's one of those days. This is what I got from the garden. And my, um, my tomatoes are not ripe yet. I, I, this is nuts. I'm usually getting at least a beefsteak tomato by now. But I didn't plant any beefsteaks because they take too long to grow. My Manitoba tomatoes are still all green except for one. Hey, Karina. Katrina, babe. Aces. Michelle. Uh, hi, Manette. So I got to fill up my, um, my thing here with salt. Kosher salt. It's just as good as pickling salt because there are no additives. Hi. I think the smoke really delayed things. It's not just the smoke, the weather. It's been damp and rainy, and, and we've had a couple of really hot days, but... Hang on. My... Hey, Jewel. Helen. Jessica. Hi. So, um... I thought I'd just do a live today because, well, I'm, I'm doing, uh, now, does anybody else grow yellow crookneck squash? Um, this almost looks like a gourd to me. Now, these have all been washed. Hey, Rosie, do I peel these or not? I don't usually peel my zucchini. So if I, yeah. I'm just going to, I'm going to sit here and cut these up by hand. Because, well, we have the time. Yeah, mine are all green. Mine are all green, Annette. Absolutely. Lacey! Hey, Minnesota farmer's wife. Canned 55 pints and seven quarts of beans. That's another thing. My beans, I went out and looked last night. I don't see. I, I saw one or two. But they've gotten really lush, the plants. It's like a wall of greenery back there. Hang on a second. I only peel if the skin is tough. Well, that skin looks tough. The yellow ones, the yellow, I've got three different kinds. I've got yellow crookneck squash, yellow zucchini, and black beauty zucchinis. Make a squash casserole. No, you know why? Howie's not coming home tonight again. Uh, I just talked to him, and he said, uh, I said, how did you sleep last night? Because he, he went out to the track. You don't have to peel the yellow squash. Um... He slept really well, and it was closer to work for him. And I said, well, if you want to stay out there tonight, because I don't feel comfortable leaving the motor home out there without proper security. It's not actually a park, right? Fried squash. My aunt used to make that when I'd visit her in the summer. So good. Well, I'm not eating squash today. I'm, um, until I feel comfortable with, excuse me. Hey, Lori. I love zucchini soup or boats. No, I'm not cooking zucchini. I'm not cooking today. I was a hundred in each one. Wow. Um, I'm not cooking today because how he's staying going back out to the motorhome tonight. I recommended it only because I, I don't feel safe with the motorhome and the race car and everything out there. All by its lonesome. So I'm gonna take your word for it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna peel these. Or at least this one anyway. No, I just want to cut these up and blanch them. I'm actually gonna salt them to get some of the moisture out before I blanch them. So that um so that they'll be, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna salt them. And then blanch them, then freeze them. 
Oh, it's bird o'clock. And then once I get a whole whack of tomatoes ready, I will be uh, I will be making my garden veg vegetable medley. And in the meantime, I can also pull them out and use them for cooking. But tomorrow we're going to the today's Wednesday, right? Tomorrow we're going to the racetrack for the weekend. The majority of nutrients are in the peel. Okay, I'm not peeling it. Um. So we're going to the track tomorrow and it's how he's got Friday off. So, you know, why, why would, I don't know. Give me a minute, folks. I had a really bad headache last night and it interrupted my sleep. So should I take these seeds out? I think maybe I should. Of, at least of this one. At least some of them. Um, so I'm just kind of taking it easy today. I did not get my, my, um, I didn't get my sheet down off the wall last night. I got Persian cucumbers for $1.29 a pound. It gave me a bag, made me three quart pints of refrigerated pickles. Hmm. What's too big? Okay. Hey, FYI. Yeah, I, I, it's been weird how we had one the day before, right? So we'll see. Um, so he's staying out at the track again tonight. And that means, you know, I can do what I need to do. I may go down after this and take the blue sheet off the wall. It all depends on how hard it's going to be to get things set up for Freaky Friday. Hey, Steven, how's it going? And there was no seeds at all. Well, these are the, that's the yellow crookneck squash. So I'm probably going to leave one or two two zucchinis um, to go to seed, at least one anyway, for next year. I don't care if they cross-pollinate with the yellow crookneck or the yellow squash. As far as I'm concerned, it's all in the zucchini family. Hey, Kiko, how are you? Linda, hi, darling. How's Steven doing today? All right, let me just go... I'm just going to drop these in here. I'm going to throw a bit of pickling salt on top and toss them. I'm coming in late, but hi from Kansas. You're not late, honey. I've only been here eight minutes. Excuse me. Um, nah, hey. Hey, Laurie. Losing my seven zucchini plants due to the burrows. Oh, gosh. Oh. Hey, Jules. Oh, that cup of tea is a little bit of heaven, I'll tell you. Uh-oh. I better uh, turn off the... I'm filming this... Whoops. I'm filming this as I go with the regular camera so that when it comes time... Like, this is going to be a video itself. I think I, I, think I might have needed another bowl. Um, <clears throat> did everyone see that power station today? You know, I got another email from them asking me to do the same one all over again. We'd like to send you one. And it's like, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to say yes and then give it away. But I'm, I'm honest, you know, I, I have to email them and say, I didn't I already just do one? Apparently they want me to do a mini one too. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm done with power stations. I always have to pollinate my zucchini flowers. Really? Lots of all my zucchini to the rabbits, but planting more. Well, you know, you have time. It, uh, it depends. If I wouldn't have time, I don't think, to start more. I put in a whole bed of spinach where my carrot bed was, the one carrot bed, and 
nothing's come up. Not a thing. Not a thing. It's a weird year. I've never had the pollinate the zucchini, but you know what? Mine are, I have to go out again. I've cut my tomatoes down three times and I've had to cut them down again. And I have to cut back and prune back the zucchini because it's just mostly, like I've got a bunch of tiny yellow ones on there, the yellow zucchini, but they're not, they're not growing as fast as I expect zucchini to grow, you know? Plus, I want to get this done before we go away for the weekend. Guys, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have zucchini to come home to. Once more squash and zucchini. Okay, what am I missing here? Why is the end result so different in the freezing yellow squash and green zoot? Also, what temp, I'm, I'm not sure I understand the question. I just, I, I don't know. I've never grown yellow squash before. So I'm just treating it like zucchini. You know what I mean? Howie doesn't like big pieces. So this is the biggest that's going in there. And it's probably still too big for him, but too bad. Too bad. Oh, oh I'm missing the chat here. It has been a weird year. Growing Amish paste tomatoes, I have some the size of softballs. Really? Somebody sent me a thing on, um, I think it was Joe, on ticks and stuff. Well, I'm not going to talk about it because I have a theory and I don't want to get a strike on this channel. So we'll just shut up, right? Oh. Oh, that's so good. No, um, I have a jar. I still have a pint of cabbage and tomatoes and onions in the uh, fridge that I'm just going to have with some egg noodles tonight. I'm just going to heat it up. Like there's hardly a lot of, I can't have squash. I love it, but it don't love me. We just processed four and a half bushels of zucchini and yellow crook neck squash or corkscrew. Oh, ew. I, uh, I don't know. I swear there's Italian in my blood or something because tomatoes are a regular part of my diet. Like if Howie had come home tonight, I was going to make spaghetti. But since I have a pint, I'll just uh, heat it up the, and I'll make, I'll make some macaroni noodles. I'll like it. I'll make it like macaroni tomatoes, but it'll have cabbage and onions in it, which means I'll be getting full servings of vegetables. Um, this bowl may not be big enough. That's okay, because I'm going to dump it in the strainer afterwards anyway to rinse the salt off or maybe just throw them in the, throw them in the stock pot for blanching. My onions started February are still not bulbing. You know what? My Spanish onions, since I put the peppers in there, um, the Spanish onions are already that big. They're bigger than last year for sure. There's a book called Terrific Garden Tonics by Jerry Baker that has recipes for keeping critters out of the garden. Ooh, could you email me that title? Because I don't get to sit and look through the chat after I'm uh, done one of these lives. Oh, so patrons, we're going live at four o'clock. Little House Live. Nine o'clock, maybe eight o'clock tonight. Little House Live, we did eight o'clock last night. I think I'll stick to eight o'clock tonight because I really do want to get th other things done. And I do want to get a good night's sleep because I didn't sleep well last night. Need to run, you guys. Robert is here and we have market tomorrow. Okay, Stephen, not that you need it, but good luck at the market tomorrow. I know you'll do fabulous. I still have two zucchinis to go here, guys. And my bowl is full. And I think in a lot of cases, a lot of vitamins are in the peels of like apples and potatoes. Um, well, not so much the skin of the potato, but that ring around the, when you peel a potato and if you slice it and you see a ring, it's the ring outside the potato where all your nutrients are. Have a great day. Hey, Donna, how's it going? I'm chopping zucchini. 
I saw a, I have a watermelon size of a pea, but I couldn't find it yesterday. Hope nothing eats it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I keep saying I'm going to go down basement and get the, get the, um, the sheet and the mini lights off, the twinkle lights off the wall, but just the thought of going down the basement without Howie here. But I'll take my phone with me if I do go. And that way, if I fall, I can call 911. I've fallen and I can't get up. That's no joke. That's no joke. I don't know how I would get up if I fell, if Howie wasn't here. All right. This is my big popcorn bowl. I've got my strainer sitting on a towel here. So... There's a lot more. What you know? What it didn't look like that much until I started uh, filling the bowl. Didn't look like a lot. So this is going to be kind of a mini vacation for us, um, being at the track for the whole weekend, um, starting tomorrow night. So there'll be no uh, reading lives this weekend. Oh no, Katie. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Doris, hi. It's been a bit. Where you been, sweetheart? So, yeah, I'm just sitting here chopping zucchini. And this is the last one. Make sure you unlock your front door before you venture. Uh, I don't lock my, I don't lock my doors. Half the time we forget to do it at nighttime. I, the only time I lock my doors is when I'm in bed. When I'm going to bed. And then it's like, well, you know. If it happens, it happens. A, I have a dog. Uh, I'm doing better today, Mary. But I had a really rough night. I, was, I had a headache that just would not go away last night. But uh, I'm doing better today. I slept in today. And uh, now I'm, I'm uh, just, I was walking a neighbor's dog and found a bad spot in the ground. Oh, God. You know, you don't, you honestly don't, you, you take walking for granted until, you know, you get older and your knees don't work properly. And every little depression in the ground, every stick, every wee, long weed is is like waiting to get you you know what i mean so there you go and there is the zucchini chopped and ready for blanching didn't look like that much did it didn't look like that much at all. I'm going to set it inside this bowl because I've salted it. I'm going to salt it just a little bit more. You know what I am going to do? I'm going to peel my watermelon and get it ready for um, for the trailer. The trailer. Oh, it's not a trailer. Every step is calculated. Absolutely. All right. I can shut this camera off now. And this can go over in here to go out to the compost. Oh, good. It's just a little bit of salt on it. Excuse me. All right. I'm going to shut that over here. I'll be right back. I'm going to put my pot on. I'm going to put these towels under my cutting board because watermelon is messy. And I'll be right back. Mm. The canning pots get put away in the winter, but they sit out on my floor beside my island all summer long because digging them out. 
It made your knee weak. COVID made your knee weak. I don't understand that reference. <sighs> oh, give me a second here, folks. I'll get my stuff together. Here's my ice cream tub. my ice cream tub. Oh, I bet you he got it out in the... What else can I use? well enough to keep tidy. Throw it stuff it gets thrown in there. Where did my lid go? I just had it in my hand. Oh for God's sake. Oh shut up. Where's the lid? Where's the lid? Honest to God, I just had it in my hand. This is the lid for the tub. Oh, there it is. Sorry, folks. I'm not as organized as I look on camera. Okay, now, there, okay, oh, so I'm going to have to use this, and I'm going to, I save these Orville Redenbacher things and refill them with popcorn, but I'm out of popcorn. And I think there is way too much watermelon for this one tub. I think the watermelon is gonna to be too much for this tub, so I'm gonna do these. Okay, let's move you just a little bit more. Let me just move my squash. Hey, Michelle. Some people take male flowers and refrigerate them. I've seen that. I've never had a problem. Truck touch wood. Let me just put this over here until it's ready to go into the stock pot. Now we can work on oh, the watermelon. Sorry, folks, I have to get out my watermelon. Howie said it was really hard to find a good one. Um, the, he said there was a partial yellow patch and the belly button's brown, he said, but there wasn't a lot of choices. I'm using well-cleaned-out glass spaghetti jars to store my salt. I save these pink Himalayan salt things, and uh, 
but I won't be buying any more loose pink Himalayan salt because I'm finding grit in it. You know what I mean? Okay, let's, let's cut the bottom off of that. Myself some lunch. Mm. Oh, let's just start peeling this. Sorry for eating the camera, folks. This is for my compost. My comment about what happened, what's happening, please. We've been traveling to a family reunion with my dad. We're so tired and thankful traveling for traveling mercies. Wonderful to see my dad with his brothers. Oh, that's lovely. What else is going on? Well, I eat it with lemon juice. Um, I've never tried it with salt. I've never tried it with salt, only lemon juice. Let me see. More like a cucumber then. Um, I think that I prefer lemon juice. I've heard if you put, let's take an English cucumber and you dip it in sugar, it tastes like watermelon. Um... I'm going to be camp. I usually just, if I'm working with fresh zucchini, I just, excuse me, I got to finish chewing. Even watermelon, my teeth, I have no teeth. My watermelon rinds in the air fryer, why? Um... Zucchini, when it's when I'm using it fresh, I usually just stir fry it with some onions and other vegetables and have it over rice or noodles. But uh, I'm saving these for my garden medley. I mean, I've already had to buy canned tomatoes once this year to can my cabbage, but we'll see. Oh, watch your fingers, Bev. Have I ever tried tomatoes and zucchini together? I can. Zucchini. That's why I'm, I'm freezing this lot. I can zucchini with tomatoes and onions and celery and peppers. I call it garden medley. It's a good soup starter, a good spaghetti sauce starter, all that stuff. Gotta try and I'm peeling my watermelon. Lemon, chamois, and ta I have tahine or whatever it's called. I have some. I just prefer lemon juice. I'm really sorry for eating on camera, guys, but this is my, I haven't eaten today. Well, that's not true. I had toast at eight o'clock this morning, so I'm sorry. This is my lunch. I'm rather hungry. But I'll be putting lemon juice in this and putting it in the fridge to take to the races with us. I'll toss this at the ravine. Of course I won't toss the bag.
Can't eat on camera because I'm missing a bunch of teeth and my teeth are falling out. So all right, get in here. I'll dump this in the ravine later. Or tomorrow when I go out and check for beans. That's compost. That's why I was raised on mashed potatoes and gravy with a lot of salt as a baby. Why? Oh, missed some skin here. They open you. All right, and we'll just take this little bit of white off here. Alrighty, boy. I hope my sugar babies give me. When I was ha when I was a baby, I had little to no salt in my system and wasn't producing it. Really? That's odd. Salt's, believe it or not, like for people who go low sodium, low sodium, salt's actually really important in your diet, especially in the summer. This is just my opinion. Um, especially in the summertime, when you sweat a lot, you have to replace the salt in your system. I could live on this all summer long. You waste a lot less when you peel it first. I may need more, more another container over this. Yeah, I'm going to have to think of something else. Because I'm not even halfway through this watermelon and that one tub's full. Try and shake things down flat. lemon want to make sure I have a couple of lemons for iced tea this weekend One in the fridge. I'll be right back. I'll have to find another tub. Look in the pantry. I actually found a really big one. And this will fit in the fridge. And then we'll just fill up this one up after to take with.
Now I got something I can fill. Why is my fridge not closing? I love watermelon. Oh my goodness. I have two towels under this board and it's still dripping on the floor. a little piece of skin on it. Second half. So, I might boil up some pasta today so that um, I have pasta ready maybe in another tub. Um, just to make, make salad making easier at the motorhome. I don't like to cook if I don't have to when, it, when we're at the, uh, cause it's a lot of work cooking in the motorhome. You know what? This big tub might not be big enough. I like spears. Whose wife got sick of who? Your prime minister is divorcing? I thought that was happening. I thought that happened last year. Can't see anybody with common sense staying married to that person. But remember, us perpetuating negativity isn't going to help anything. And I'm working on that really hard. Because I have Trudeau triggered Tourette's. I'm a, I'm a moron! You should hear some of the things that come out of my mouth. T -t turkey! Trudeau turkey! Whenever his name is mentioned around me. I really hope he doesn't get back in. This tub is not big enough. Never judge the size of a watermelon by the size of a watermelon until you cut it up and can't get it to fit. Maybe I'll just put the rest in a bowl for my lunch. That's what I think I'm going to do because look at this. Look at that. I think these last couple of pieces I will put in a bowl for my lunch. Oops. I can barely get the lid on it. There. Excuse me. Oh. That's a weekend's. Worth a watermelon. That's two nights in front of the TV for Howie and I. Yes, we buy chips and stuff when we're on like a vacation. But the truth is, we eat a lot of uh, things like watermelon and stuff. And... All right. God, I gotta clean my fridge. There we go. Me a bowl. Salad tub. Um, your daughter, my daughter is moving to Toronto. We live in Michigan. She going to school there? Yeah, lunch.
Does not look like an awesome lunch. Really spikes your sugar. Last of this. Try and get the last of this lemon juice. Well, listen, folks. Um, thanks for keeping me company while I did some work. Hey, Peggy. Hello, hello, hello. Um, but I'm going to go get some work done. Then I'm going to blanch these, the zucchini, and then I'm going to put it on a big cookie sheet in the freezer to flash freeze it and then put it in bags. Then I'm going to go out and take this out to the compost heap. Which is like part of my ravine. I'm going to let you guys go now. Thanks for keeping me company. I'm going to go have my lunch and uh, give Howie a shout. Well, thank you, Jules. You guys, I'll see Little House Live is tonight at 8 and patrons live at 4. Mwah! Take care. God bless. I love you guys. Have a great day.